during our stay and our living in this planet Earth called Ke uh, 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 world and this country called Kenya with all its counties. The other issue, just, I, to, just to remind you, yes, I had mentioned to you that you have 15 minutes, yes, you have, which you have uh, exhausted. Only give so me two minutes, if it, I may. It leaves me in a difficult situation because there's still. Uh, we have four minutes remaining. You still, you still have time for this panelist also, unless you want to uh, conclude your remarks. I want to conclude without without any questions uh, from uh, the panelists. Yes, I wanted to add an issue on presidential term. Okay. Our concern is that this ill fight has been coming out whereby citizens of the Republic cannot realize their social and economic rights. It is cause of politics. So for us, we say that a president needs to go for a single term of 10 years. <laughs> 10 years. We wanted the president to go for a single term of 10 years. If he finishes, he goes and parks together with this deputy president. That is our thought. And the other issue we wanted to raise is that uh, we had a position from the Suba, Suba community. They've met the population quota of which they require a county. And also us in Omabi Town, we've met the population quota whereby we want the Omabi Town constituency to be divided so that we can have Kanyada constituency. For us, we've met the population quota. And this one will make us to realize the issue, the big issue before the corridors of debate, whereby Kimani Chumba is saying, or Kimani Chumba is saying, majority leader, one man, one coin, or one shilling, one man. So for us, for this to be realized even to us, we have to create a you, super count. I use that when I have ever said one man. <laughs> He has also spoken about it. Yeah. <laughs> so, thank you very much you. for having given us the opportunity. Asante ni sana. He spoke, he spoke no, about it. We spoke it. about it. We said that he, he's supposed to be yes. theater. He spoke, he spoke about it. So, uh, Any the, the presenters uh, finished their time. Yeah. But I'll just allow uh, one question only from each side. Okay. Uh, Hassan, you'll take on behalf of each side. No, just... Uh, then you'll tell me if there's a comment from this side. Michael. Yes, Oji. you're on. Yes. No, no, uh, you said we removed the National Tallying Center. Yes. Then how do we collect all these results the from the polling stations and centers? How do we, where do we tally them? Uh, what we've heard about, about this from the scenarios of elections which have been held the three elections, after the Maina Kiai's case, and what the judges had ruled upon. We saw it that uh, normally at Bomas is where the fight is, not right at the polling station. So after all the results of the members of parliament have been declared, MCAs, governors, uh, women reps, and senators, everybody dashes to the National Tallying Centre. So we're asking ourselves, why is it that everybody is dashing towards the National Tallying Centre and yet they are voted at the polling stations? So, for us to have a beautiful country, this country we cherish, honorable members, let us be candid enough and honest to ourselves so that future generations will not suffer the same fate. But where do we then... So tally, that is, that is what brings me to, to tell you about this. We have 47 counties, and this will bring the aspect part of the electoral colleges. So if we have like 64,000 polling stations in the entire republic, and Presidential A has got 50, 50 uh, say 50,000, definitely he is supposed to be declared the president. Mm -hmm. So you are saying we've scrapped the National Tallying Center? Yes. Okay. Yeah, and movement to electoral colleges. Okay. That is what we are saying. You had said earlier on yes. that you don't want to see members of parliament impeaching a president. Yes. That should be left to the people. The people, yes. To do it themselves. Yes. But are you alive to the provisions of Article 1? Yes, I'm I am alive to it. That through that uh, allows the public, the people, yes, to delegate yes. their sovereign power yes. to elected representatives. The wording which is used 
in that given article learned council, if I may, if you look at the sovereignty of the people, it says that all powers, all sovereign powers belongs to the people of Kenya and shall be, analyze the wording shall, mandato, be exercised only in accordance with this constitution. The people may, optional, optional, may, optional. That is it, John. No, no, complete it, complete it, may. May exercise their sovereignty power either directly or through their democratically elected. So the wording, the conjunction means. <laughs> Thank you very much. Yes. <laughs> and I think that is a plain language in, in law. Thank you, Michael. Yes. Uh, any final question from the panelists before we let uh, the representative from Homa Bay Interface Community help desk? You're satisfied? Yes. Okay. Uh, we 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 